Alright, so here we are for our second episode of the random cardboard crash series with this uh, wonderful little randomizer thing we got here. So, for our for our first spin, oh, let's see if I can find it. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is, here it is. Wow, we're going to have to cut that. We made this wonderful right one-handed sword. Very, very cool design. I really am quite the fan of it. Let's see if we can back up and get a full shot of it. Very nice sword. Really, really liked it. Used a couple of techniques that I don't normally use, which is really exciting, like this circular guard thing is really not something I do a whole lot of. And just right-handed swords in general. I'm a, I'm a lefty, so I don't really get the chance to make them all that often. But very cool design. Looks like a cool sword. So hopefully we'll make something else cool in this episode of Randomizer. All right, so first to start off. Oh, wrong end. Put our little guy right in there and for spin. Oh, we're making a prop this episode. So, well, I guess we'll move on to the second spinner. So the, the four categories, I mean, you can probably see in the thumbnail, are armor, weapon, prop, or art. Um, and last time we made just a weapon, but this time we're going to be making some type of prop, and there are four types of props. We can make some type of hat, some type of jewelry, some type of pet, or a book of some kind. So, get a chance to see, spin and see what we'll be making now. Oh, some sort of pet. Well, huh. Alright. Well, I guess I'll pause it here and brainstorm and come back when I have my paper out ready to draw. Alright, so here we are with our, again, wonderful scratch paper and thick sharpie, and we have to make some type of prop that is a pet. So, by pet, what I essentially mean is some look-alike little small creature that you can wear or hold or drag behind you somewhere on your body. And to be a pet, I guess it doesn't really have any true standards, but my, my kind of thought about it is that it needs to be more than just a article of clothing. It needs to be animate in some way. So it has to have some little actuating function, like a moving mouth or some waddling legs or maybe some arms or something like that. I don't know. But essentially that's what we'll be making. So, hmm. My, the first idea that comes to my head, the one that I've seen the most often, is a little shoulder pet. So I guess we'll just uh, yeah, draw out a little human here. Um, so as a little person, kind of like this, wow, they have a really thin waist, ignore that. Um, here, let's grab another color. There would be some uh, type of creature sitting on their shoulder, some little thing or whatever, and it would have a little mouth, and there would be a small cable that would run down the length of their arm, and there would be a little feature in their hand that they could twist, and it would make the uh, creature do something fancy. Um, so that'd be like a shoulder pet. There are a lot of dragons like that, that have like tails leaning down your back and stuff. Um, <laughs> or when I was talking about moving legs, it also makes me think of those little ducks, where it's a middle little beak piece, and then it has little floppy legs that kind of roll about and it waddles side to side. That could be really fun. We could make a little box and then some like roller legs and a head. Hmm. Or maybe flapping wings. We could do like some type of box with like wings going out of it where they were connected by like tape in the middle. And then you could like push or pull a stick or something like that and it would make the wings flap up and down. That might be kind of cool. I don't know. None of these ideas are really hitting at home for me. The coolest one we could do would probably be a hand pet that had some like level of articulation. Maybe I could do something you stick your hand into that has a moving head, so it'd like move with your finger, and then also have some moving wings. I think I'll, uh, huh. Essentially, needs to be like some type of thing you stick your hand into, and then you probably hold onto it like, I'm not sure, or maybe you just do a talkie pet. <laughs> I could do that pretty easily, actually. Yeah, what we do is we do a lower mouth with some little teeth, and then we do an upper actuating part that would be kind of conjoined, and the uh, only place to be attached would be on the back. <laughs> That'd be a really, and then have little uh, 
kind of hand uh, things there and there to make it into a little pet. And I put eyes on it and put horns on it. I might do that. I think we'll do that. All right, so this is essentially the way I think I want to do it. We're going to have a little cylindrical piece here, which will just be a flat sheet, and then a little mouthpiece that like juts off of it with maybe some teeth on it and stuff. And then the upper mouth section is going to be sort of like how I made my arms, actually. But essentially, it'll need to be the 3D portion of this, and it'll be a little bit of a rounded area, and then a split section here. And the more split this section is, what we do is we fold, well I guess that's a fold too, we fold these three lines here and then tape across these two, and that mounds up the center. So it eventually it'll look something like that, kind of, where this gets poked up and this two edges get taped together and there's a fold there and there's a fold along there. Put some maybe little horns on there and draw some eyes on and then it'll get just taped loosely on the back there. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so a uh, piece like that, a lower jaw piece, and then just a roll for the cylinder. That's not too hard. Alright, so now for this lower mouthpiece, I think we'll just like kind of trace along here and then just a little bit of a mouth section, just like that. Cut that out and that'll be our base. Alright, and there is that. I think it'll be a little bit of a thing like that. And we'll have a second little jaw there. So we would do, instead of trying to pop out a little cone, we would pretty much just make a little bit of a ridge, sort of like we did with the bottom, just sort of a wider one. And then just give it a, a little bit of a lid and we do eyes on the side and maybe like horns on the side as well. You know, that would probably work better. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so here we are again, the old defective one, and now a new, a little bit more fancy one. Yeah, that fits a little nicer, doesn't it? <laughs> I wonder, should I do the eyes on the top or on the sides? I'd probably see it easier if I did it on the top, huh? Yeah, I might do some little eyes here. And then we'll do the same type of little dual-sided connection to the back. You know, I actually kind of like this little guy. He has a very endearing face, and he also has some vicious little teeth. Hmm, maybe we should do a thumb hole. Maybe that would be good. Why, hello there. You see it? Why, hello there. My name is Toothy. I am a pet. Oh, joy. I don't have ears or horns, but I do have teeth and eyes. Yay. Well... That was a pretty silly little video because I ended up failing and then ending up making this little kind of cute little toothy monster thing. It looks kind of like a jackal. A very, very jackal but is pleased to meet you. Very happy little guy. Um, the Randomizer series is a little bit strange. There are a lot of things in there that aren't actually true cardboard creations or like weapons or stuff. And normally I'm always based around weaponry. But I really want to try to branch out and uh, make more things that is... Um, less oriented to uh, just the combat of it and try to stretch more into like the role play. Like I made this whole video a couple of days ago about um, trying to be a role play character this year. And that's not something I've really done a whole lot of before, but uh, I want to get better at it and I think it'll make, it, it increases the longevity of the camp because I pretty much finished all of the armor that I'll ever make. 
I'm not entirely sure what more I could do to kind of improve from that point. So, uh, making fun little creations that are more into like the role play side of things is generally how I think that I'll be able to continue and progress to make stuff in the camp. So, here's my little jackal guy. That's uh, our second randomizer video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.